here's 10 questions and answers people have been submitting on Instagram and Facebook. Number one, how did I get into construction? Well, 12 years ago, I was a off-market agent and someone asked me, if you find a project, I will give you the money. So basically I found a little opportunity on Right Move, which was a studio apartment in Primrose Hill. The client invested, I think, 250,000 pounds. He invested 30,000 pounds into the refurbishment. We did up the project and we sold it for, I think, 350,000 pounds three months later. So that was my first construction project. Number two, what was my first project in new? Well, the first project I did in new was in Holyport Road in Fulham. That was a project we did for an end user, uh, which was a kitchen extension, a loft conversion, and a full refurb. That was our first project for new. What was our biggest project? Well, our biggest project was in about 2016, we did a triple basement new build project in Abingdon Road, South Kensington. This was 12,000 square feet in total with a bill cost of circa nine million pounds. I think the properties were valued at 10 million pounds each. So you can see that's a large project. Number four, have I worked with anyone famous? Yes, we've worked for a few VIPs, including Kylie Minogue, David Gandhi, Natalie Imbruglio, Binky Felixstead, Nikki Clark, and that's just to name a few. Um, but again, we like working with celebrities because they got great social media and it brings and attracts more attention. Um, what are my goals for the next three years? My goals are to grow the business, to create some fantastic content, to bring great people into new because I can't do it all myself, people who have got entrepreneurial mindsets and we want to keep doubling the turnover each year. So that's my goals for the next three years. Number six, would we do a TV program if we were asked? Yes, we would do. Going back four or five years ago, we did a couple of TV shows. We, we've done Posh Neighbours at War on Channel 4, and that was about um, basement projects with neighbours going crazy because of the noise and the dirt and you know that kind of thing and and um, we had uh, I think it was Channel 4 coming around one of the projects we were working on taking videos doing a bit of uh, video of me, me and my ex-business partner so that was that and also we've done Bloomberg news about iceberg basements and we were approached by the company who did the jump, the TV program, the jump, the skiing program, to do a program uh, about um, following a designer build company. I wanted to do it, but my ex business partner didn't. Um, number seven, what would you advise someone who's starting a construction company? My advice is just go for it. It's all about moving forward, winning your first contract. Don't be afraid to go into an area which you might be nervous about. You know, for us, when we started, we went from a small job and quite quickly, we went into basements. We never did a basement, but the client said, can you do it? And we went, yeah, we can do it. And then we just brought in people who can do it for us a margin on top you know if you're the main contractor you can sub parts of the build out if you need people to do specialist 
uh, trades, you just get the specialist in, don't you? You put your margin on top and that's it. You're, the risk is with you as the main contractor because the client is signing the contract with you. You're dealing with all the subbies. Um, number eight, is building a brand important for a construction company? Very, very important because that gives you the edge over your competition. Because most builders, most architects, most interior designers, they're just focusing on doing the work. They're not focusing on the business. How other people looking out on you through social media is affecting your um, pipeline. You know, basically the, the brand, building your brand will build trust and rapport with your client. Because every time someone sees you, they're saying, oh, new projects, new projects, new projects. And it's just an easier sell when it comes down to closing the deal. Number nine, what advice would you give someone in construction or architecture about social media? I would say create as much content as possible, create as much video as possible, create as many articles as possible and post on, on every single platform possible. Everything, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, Snapchat, everything, times 10, all the time, every day. <laughs> Number 10, who motivates me? Well, when I need motivating, I put on my audio book in the car, like I've done today, me and Will's in the car, we drove to a, a job and we listen to, it could be Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone's super motivating. You know, uh, if you listen to Sell or Be Sold, Be Obsessed or Be Average, brilliant audio books. You know, so when you're driving and you're going to a meeting and you need to be up, upbeat and motivated, maybe you're a bit stressed out, you stick these on and all of a sudden, your brain is on fire because he's, he's pumped in so much upbeat information you know, it's going to only affect you in a positive way. So there's 10 questions I've answered for you. Just